This film is part of an instructional series on fishing. With the help of some of America's greatest anglers, we will share with you several effective new fishing techniques, as well as methods proven by the test of time. back to another video tonight we are doing something a little bit different we are in our kitchen this is the first video I've done like this I'm not a chef I don't even really consider myself that good of a cook but one of the main questions I get asked especially this time of year because it is snapper season there are snapper everywhere right now it was I've had a bunch of calls and it was so slow I was telling people man they haven't showed up they haven't showed up they showed up and they are everywhere so limits of snapper are, I don't want to say guaranteed, but they're they're pretty easy right now. So if you want to get out and you want to catch some mangrove snapper, give us a call. We're, we're ready to go. It's happening. But one of the main questions I get on our snapper trips is, how should I cook these? And there is no wrong way to cook a mangrove snapper, 100%. You can fry it, bake it, blacken it, tacos. I, I can't even think of all the ways you can cook mangrove snapper. Can you think of any other ways, Grace? Grace is down here filming too. Um, What's your favorite way to cook mangrove snapper? Blacken it. Blacken it. Grace likes to blacken it. So tonight, I'm gonna to show you guys our favorite way to eat mangrove snapper. And that is blackened fish tacos. And you really can't go wrong. There's, there's not many fish that you can't blacken and make taste good. So what we have is this morning, Jake and myself and a buddy went out and we caught a three-man limited mangrove snapper, and we jumped. We were actually catching snapper while we were tarpon fishing. I think we hooked five or six tarpon, landed one, fought a couple. It was it was a really good morning. But that's that's how wild the snapper bite is right now. We're doing other things and still catching our limited snapper as we're doing it. But um, so what we're gonna do tonight is I'm gonna show you, to me, the most simple way to cook it and the way that I think my family likes it the most. I don't know, some of them don't like fish in this house. Me and Jake love fish. Grace is a fish eater. Uh, my wife tries, she, she puts on a good face, you know. Uh, Caleb doesn't eat fish, which is, which is a little strange to me. But anyways, let's get to cooking. So what we've done, what we're gonna do tonight is I started with a large, decent sized pan on medium heat and I've put about, a little over just lining the pan. I put about a quarter inch of olive oil on the bottom. And then we're gonna come over here, we're gonna take our snapper fillets, and this is what I like to use on our for our blackening. It's the Chef Paul, uh, what is it? Redfish, black and redfish magic, redfish magic. So, and when you use this, this is really the only thing you need to put on this fish. So when you use this, you wanna be very liberal with seasoning. It's gonna look like a lot of seasoning, but it's really not that much. I mean, it's not an overpowering flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and coat one side of these. And like I said, you really, it's hard to overdo it with this. It looks like a lot. Hope we have enough to do them all. So you wanna get a good coating on both sides. Our pans are there heating up. And this is, this, this is fast. This is fast and easy. Maybe that's why it's one of my favorite ways to cook it. I'm a fast and easy kind of fast. I don't know about easy. Definitely a, a fast cook. All right. So you pretty much want to cover the entire fish. Let's see how our pan is. All right, so these are going to cook really quick. Snapper fillets, mangrove snapper fillets aren't very thick. We're going to lay them on one side. The oil could get a little bit hotter. It'd be nice. These are really cold fillets too, so let me turn the heat up just a little bit. We're probably going to cook them on each side for maybe a minute. It doesn't take much. You can already see the edges of them starting to turn white. I'll turn the fan on and I'll be in trouble. Alright, 
like I said, you can already see the edges of the fillets turning white. It's not going to take long to cook this at all. Uh, we got some Spanish style rice going that my wife put on, and um, we made some fresh pico, and we're going to top this with. You have a choice, basically, of what what we go with is pico, or I really like the mango salsa on these. It's uh, it's a little sweet. It adds like. I mean, because you're going to get a little bit of spice out of this. Not much, but the mango sauce is just sweet enough to kind of, I guess, balance it out. I don't know. I'm trying to talk like I know what's going, what's going on, like I'm a cook or something. What do you think, Jake? You do pretty good. It's all right. I mean, I'm, I'm not underweight. I'm not a skinny person. So that's, uh, you know, we do, we do eat around here. So probably maybe two minutes. Like I said, I just really, really watch the fish. I mean, when those edges get a little bit wider, you know, then we're gonna, we're gonna flip it one time and, and get it out of there. Let's take out all that pocket. Let me turn this down a little bit. I'm doing something else and I almost let them sit too long. But that's kind of what you want to see right there. The other one, eh. But I bet we eat them. And I probably could have had a little less oil. Like I said, I'm not a chef, but we get by. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this finish cooking on this side for probably another minute to two minutes. We're gonna get it off, let it drain to where all the oil drips off, dry them real good, and finish cooking the rest of our fish. And we will, uh, then we'll start putting together some tacos. It's, like I said, it's really simple. It's delicious, it's fresh. This fish has never been frozen. It was caught today, so I think it'll be okay. I think we'll eat it. All right, guys, so that took probably 10 minutes to cook all the fish. Very simple, very easy. Who are you? Grace. Tell me. My name is Grace. Her name is Grace. This is my daughter. She's been in some of our videos before, and kids don't lie, so we're going to let Grace taste this. And if it tastes terrible, you're going to tell everybody, right? I'm Look at them, tell going them. to tell them. You're going to tell them the truth. Okay. If this is terrible. Okay. But it's probably so, going to taste awesome. It's probably going to taste awesome. That a girl. So real simple to put together. And we use our hands around here occasionally, so don't judge us. But mm -hmm. a couple pieces of fish, the length of the, uh, the taco shell. Cool. And we're going to put a little bit of, this is what you had earlier, Grace, the mango salsa. Amazing. I'll show you guys real quick. This is all amazing. So basically, you can, you can make this at home. If you, uh, well, we also have pico here, but we're not going to give Grace pico because I don't think she likes the raw onions. Blah, but blah. the mango salsa, you can make it yourself. It's basically pico and add some mango and kind of chop your tomatoes up a little bit smoother and it'll give you mango salsa. But we cheated. We bought this. So we're going to take our fish and we're going to just kind of drizzle some mango salsa across the top of it. And we're gonna make it real simple for Gracie. I'll make it. You got it? Yeah. Show us how to do it. Okay, hold on. Let's tuck one of the ends in so okay. it doesn't get everywhere, okay? So we're gonna fold one side. Yeah. Roll this bottom up like that. Yeah. And then we're gonna fold this side. And look, I'm gonna take the first bite, okay? That way I make sure you get some of the fish. And, well, you got it right there. Yeah. All right, so are you ready? Yeah. All right, take a bite of it. Make sure you get some of the fish. You got some of the fish, some of the salsa. Hold on, taste it. Awesome. Hold on, chew it up. Let's see. Awesome. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You're not lying, right? You're not telling stories. Oh, I'm not telling stories. Tell it's them. It's definitely good. It's definitely good. It's definitely good, everybody. Mm. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, you can do this. Uh, my wife's got some Spanish style rice going. You can put that on it. Uh, the mango salsa is very good. I definitely, if you haven't tried mango salsa, definitely recommend trying it. <laughs> or you can take it and you can put pico on it. But this is the most simple way I know to do this. It's fast. My family loves it. And, oh, hold on, baby. You're fixing to drop it. You ate it from the wrong end. Here, grab it from that side. And, uh, and it's and it's and it's snapper season. I mean, the mangrove snapper are thick, so 
if you're watching this and you want to come and get on the mangrove snapper with us, now is definitely the time. We're still catching, uh, the tarpon bite is still really good. It's still really good in Tampa Bay. Uh, grouper bite's good, but it doesn't start till September. There's plenty of smoke to go around. There's, there's a lot of action right now. So if you want to get with us to, uh, to fill the cooler with some snapper, then uh, just give us a call, guys. And as always, we, <laughs> we really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, God bless everybody out there. We'll see you guys on the water.